day. It's Tony Fortunato from the technology firm. Today I want to spend a few minutes with you showing you a, another yet very helpful utility that I've used quite a bit. It's called Micro SIP. Micro SIP. And you can find it at microsip.org. It's a uh, little SIP client, a saw phone. What's really interesting about it uh, that I like, number one, you can install it as a portable app. Well, that's always cool. Uh, the second thing is I can call between micro SIP clients directly, kind of peer to peer, if you will. I don't need a uh, call manager gateway, none of that nonsense. I can just call between two laptops, two desktops. And what I've done in the past, which is kind of neat, is a few things. Number one, if the customer was thinking of deploying SIP or VoIP, um, or more importantly, I guess they've deployed it and had some issues, we can try to replicate the performance issues they've had by putting this through a um, traffic simulator or through their network and try to find out if we can make it sound the way it sounded when they had the issue at hand. Uh, the other thing I've done is used it in training and in my lab to see the way different codecs behave and, and I'll show you what all that means in a second. So the first thing I'm going to do is just come here right click on micro SIP and go to my settings and here we go. Uh, you can change a lot of good stuff and then there's your audio codecs that are available and enabled so you can you can turn off and on whatever you like you can also do video calls which is really neat so you can choose the camera if you had an external usb camera and that sort of thing and again you can also choose the video codec that you'd like to use for that call as well i like the auto answer feature when i'm by myself i can set up a laptop on the other end of the network and just call it and uh, do my testing without having a person having to click that button on the other end and that's it so what I've done here is I've set up in my contacts Churchill another uh, computer in my network and if I go to edit um, just popped up on my other screen give me a second here uh, so all I did the syntax is easy SIP colon SIP colon and the name or IP of the other device and that's it that's all you have to do so the micro SIP is running on the other computer and when you double click the other one will ring and pick up if it's auto answer or you need a human to click the answer on the other end. The other neat thing too is you can do a little message if you like um, or a video call. So that's it. So that's micro SIP. It's portable and very helpful and hope you find it helpful in your environment. Have a good day. Bye for now.